forecast with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, welcome back in and happy Wednesday morning. We're halfway through the week. We're taking it day by day because every single day we're seeing temperatures break records here in Baton Rouge. Your hot temperatures hitting 104 yesterday will likely possibly break another record once again today. So the heat really the main concern going forward, but even with the heat out there, it's warm and humid to start the day. We still have a beautiful super moon to look at this morning. This is the full sturgeon moon. This is the first super moon of the month of August. And like I said, it's a little bit warm and humid out there, but if you can, and get outdoors to check out this cool moon before it sets on the horizon about 7 11 in this morning. In fact, this is only the first super moon of the month of August. The next one comes on the 30th being the full blue moon. That's the name it gets for being the second full moon of the same month. So if you can, if you're missing this one, make sure you get out on August 30th and check out the next super moon because it has a cool sight for this morning. Clear skies so far, but of course, what is not cool are these temperatures highs today into the upper 90s, lower and 100s out there. And once again, Heat index value is going to be frozen between 110 and 115. So like yesterday, we have no excessive heat warning in place across the entire viewing area for those high feels like temperatures. So of course, if you're going to be outdoors today for any prolonged period of time, we'll make sure you take plenty of breaks into the AC and course you want to stay hydrated because then we're not done with the heat just yet. It's going to continue through this week. And as it will continue this, through this week, it continues into the evening as well. You see, we'll be into the 90s by lunchtime hours and then even toward the evening hours, still in the 90s, still in the triple digit feels like temperatures. So it's going to be a really prolonged heat. It takes a while to cool down from the high temperatures. And even overnight, not much relief tonight. Mid-70s to the north, near 80 degrees for overnight lows here in Baton Rouge. So warm and muggy conditions persist for our area. Although today we do have a chance for some scatter showers and some storms across the region, but likely won't start firing up until after those peak heating hours. So we'll still hit those high temperatures and then we'll get some scatter showers and storms kind of push through the area, moving roughly from northeast to southwest. And like the previous days, if we get one storm that gets this act together, it can kind of get stronger possibly and we could have potential for some isolated storms that maybe have some gusty winds, heavy rainfall, and of course some lightning too. You need to watch out for So keep an eye on radar as you go through today. But but tomorrow, probably a little bit less coverage of any rain across the region. Maybe a few isolated showers and storms. Most of us will probably stay dry on the day for tomorrow as well. So that's kind of the trend going through the next couple days as we have high pressure just to the west. It's going to expand and kind of move over our region. And what that does is, of course, promote really high temperatures and kind of suppress our rain chances a little bit. And so we're only going to keep in low in rain chances as we finish off the week. And temperatures, yes, it's still in the low 100s, possibly breaking a few more records heat index value is still going to be in that 110 range so we'll still likely have those heat alerts today, tomorrow, and through the weekend as well. So your 70 forecast, keeping those low in rain chances, although today might have the better chance of rain compared to the uh, next couple of days, but still in the lower 100s. But as you go toward the weekend into the new work week, that ridge of high pressure might begin to weaken a little bit and we'll get a little bit more chances for some more rain coming in by Monday into Tuesday, but still going to be rather hot and we'll still likely see a heat alert.